Panther. My bezzy mate, Black Panther. He's in the Crew Motorfest right now. And that's all thanks to this collaboration. This car right here. Now we know in the real world why Black Panther is part of this collaboration. We know that this car was made by some developers over at Ivory Tower. We know that... <laughs> we, I'd hope that, that... Not to break the news, Motorfest isn't real. Look, I'm sorry if you just got told about Santa as well, but I, I didn't want to be the one-two punch, but Motorfest also not real. But the thing is, I have been more dedicated than you would even think, because I don't normally talk about it, not on my live streams, to the crew's lore, to the in-universe things that happen, to the to connecting the the, 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 the the story of the game, how, and call, calling out these plot holes that I doubt even the developers realized, how the guy in the American playlist claims he made the off-road version of the, the the Rally Raid version of the Mustang, when in reality the Rally Raid version of the Mustang is just a body kit from the Raid tuner over at Las Vegas in the Crew 1. There's a guy who claims that he customized the Dark Knight edition Mitsubishi Evo, when in reality that's, that's the first time we've ever had confirmed that regular people and tuners actually made the cars for the live summit and the bits of lore just putting them into perspective how speaking of live live being essentially a gopro company in the crew too was bought out by motorflix netflix netflix bought gopro in the crewniverse there's so many different Things and plot points and plot holes and and, and 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 lore behind this game that I don't think anyone even ever realizes. Except I have played so much of the crew too that I I pick up on these things. You're telling me Netflix bought the Maze Bank building and then just added their logo to the top of it? Cause that's what happened. It's crazy stuff, but that crazy stuff doesn't just stop there. What if I told you that Black Panther isn't just in the Crew Motorfest? What if I told you that Black Panther of the Crew Universe, he's featured in every single Crew game? What if I told you that Black Panther has a more in-depth lore than the real world, Black Panther? <laughs> and it runs deep. It runs so much deeper than you would even think. See, there's a bunch of lore that gets confirmed from this appearance of Black Panther here. I mean, just what he looks like, what he does in later life, as well as his car's later life, because he, Black Panther in the Crooniverse owns a few cars that not even real Theo Thomas owns. In fact, we don't even have re really confirmed that his name is Theo Thomas in the Crooniverse, but you know. <sighs> but it all begins so long ago. So, English born, 29 year old Theo Thomas, also known as Black Panther in the Crew Universe, took a bit of a different turn. From the very beginning, we know the real world Black Panther raised in the UK. However, the Black Panther in the universe of the crew did one of two things. Migrated to America very, very young or was born and raised in America. And there's a simple reason for this. Now, due to having seen Black Panther, he's in the main stage trailer. Because we've seen Black Panther as himself, we can assume that he is the exact same age and exact same birth date as he was in the real world, right? Because if he looks like he does in the crew game, at 29, then you know he's probably, he's, you know, this, and he's 29 in the real. Then that probably makes sense. But that's interesting because the first appearance of Black Panther isn't in the Crew Motorfest. The first appearance of Black Panther isn't in the Crew Two. The first appearance of Black Panther was back in the Crew One. Now we have no reason to believe that he wasn't already a police officer by this point, point. and I've given that away a little bit because. Black Panther appears in the Calling All Units update right here in this race. Now, I'm not sure what the race is called. It, it, in fact, it was called uh, Highway Patrol. You can see on this training session done with these police officers, Theo Thomas Black Panther is in this event. And what do I mean by that? By that, I mean he is... It, uh, you still can't see it. Damn, that's unfortunate. It, he is... Um, I, okay, uh, in the event, Black Panther appeared in the Crew 1 Calling All Units update. Meaning, in 2014, 
the year of, of, of 2014 when the crew came out. Presuming he was a police officer immediately, as as you launch the game, the update hits you straight away, the police update. So presumably the police update takes place during the same time that the crew one took place, which is on current day at the time, 2014. So Black Panther was a police officer who drove a Lamborghini Gallardo. Now the thing is Black Panther is 29, meaning he was 20, he was 19 back then, meaning he would have been the youngest. He would have in the Crooniverse. He would have actually managed to get into the the the, the police force uh, as one of the youngest people in there. Some take candidates, some take cadets as young as 18. Now this cadet I was obviously given a Lamborghini Gallardo. So Theo Thomas in this world was a police officer very young in America. And that's only the first bit of lore that needs to be built up. See, the shift that Black Panther in the crew universe took in between the four years between the crew one and the crew two is rather drastic. See, Black Panther went from being a police officer, and yes, he was already driving a circuit vehicle. The, the Gallardo here is a circuit car. So he must have, clearly, in the crew universe, found a liking to the touring, racing, circuit-type cars as from, from, from 2014 to 2018, he took the shift from being a, an American police officer to instead staying in America. However, then slowly becoming a racing driver, as we see in the Cruise cinematic trailer for the Crew 2. You have the this scene, and then we get the plane driving, and um, again, he's featured after there, and there you go. It's blink and you'll miss it, but during this trailer, that happens, and there. Back to Guildford. So, Black Panther, clearly, as seen in this, does a collab with Azuma, as both of them feature the same race. He drives either a BMW M3 or, is it an M3? I don't actually know. Or an Aston Martin Vulcan, and races back to Guildford. So at this point, we can assume that Black Panther has migrated back to the UK and likely was born in the UK to begin with due to the second featuring of Black Panther in this game because he's not just featured in the, in, in the crew two once. He's featured twice. We can also see by this that he did, at this point, begin making YouTube videos. In fact, was probably making YouTube videos for a little while before that because he's already got 190,000 views on that video. So clearly, Black Panther in the Crooniverse was doing pretty good in the old year of 2018. Oh, this is best of 20, yeah, best of 2017. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, not only uploading on YouTube, but also uploading on Live Share, which essentially would be like GoPro Share, but I guess it's just supposed to be YouTube, right? So he was a YouTuber, or whatever that would be called in the crew universe, given they don't, they wouldn't have YouTube because copyright. But he did migrate back to Guildford, do races back in Guildford, and get 190,000 views on a video in a circuit car. And that's pretty relevant, because I'm about to show you something. Now, what I'm about to show you is from the Crew 2. It's something that carried over. Yes, I'm showing you in Motorfest, but this was in the Crew 2. In fact, I made a video on it. See... When Black Panther moved back to the UK, and the reason that I, I realized that no, he wasn't raised, he, he wasn't born in America, he was born in the UK, he clearly took up a liking for the racing cars that he drove, the, the Gallardo, that he drove in the racing spec, because he then found himself helming a Porsche 911 GT3 RS in game, rocking the number four and the UK, the Union Jack, Flat. I can confirm this is a Black Panther car because this isn't just any livery. No, this is, as you'll see, can I actually filter by it? I suppose I can't. I'm going to have to go all the way to the end. Oh, the crew. Because as you can see, the car here, it's not a livery made by someone. It is an exclusive livery, meaning canon within the crew, made by Ivory Tower, for the game. So this racing car, Black Panther, drove, yes it is in street, but it's clearly a racing livery. This is a car that Black Panther drove, rocking number 04, and rocking the Union Jack, meaning likely his little stint in America as a police officer 
was him moving there instead of actually being born and raised there. Or maybe he was raised in America, but he kept his UK accent, so clearly he spent more time in the UK. And this car establishes Black Panther as canon to the Crew 2 and the Crew 1 and establishes that they are clearly connected as the logos match up. Oh god! The reason they are very clearly connected is that the logo used here, even though this isn't explicitly said to be Black Panther, the logo used here is used in Motorfest as well as the Crew 2. And in Motorfest, he's referred to as Black Panther. And then that circles all the way back because even though we didn't have a logo for the Crew 1 featuring of Black Panther, we did have the name. So those like that are assumed to be the exact same person. Damn. <laughs> so, so far, cars that Theo hasn't owned in real life, but his in-game counterpart has, is the Gallardo, the... Porsche 911 GT3 RS and either the Aston Martin Vulcan or the BMW whichever racing version that is. In fact, because of that video there, it can be assumed that this here is, one of these two is Black Panther. The, the racing in that car or this car. One of them. Because that right there was the shot that's used for the thumbnail. This is used for Asma's one. One is Asma, one's Black Panther. And, I mean, not gonna lie, right there in that shot, that definitely looks like they just head-on collide with this taxi here, but I mean, that's neither here nor there. They race here, but then clearly go back to the UK. Even though our real-world Black Panther continued to play the game and continued to play the crew too, uh, it seems that he was back in the UK by this point. And here, as we see in Theo's video... Motorfest, but I'm actually now in the game. Oh, well, Theo Little, did you know that you were in all three of the games and you're canon in the entire universe? What? Give me the... Yep, so then we get the main stage trailer right here, obviously oh, featuring Black four, Panther. And there he is. Now, oh this it's does like, a lot to, to canonize Black Panther. Hey, hey, this shows us well. that it's one, sound. Shout out. It, it establishes that yes, he did go back to the UK because he has, he has a British accent. Now, I'm not talking about, bear in mind, bear in mind, I'm not talking about this Black Panther. I'm talking about this Black Panther because these two are very separate fellas. That right there is a man in Guildford, goddamn doing, doing the whatever's do, buying some cars, grew up making YouTube videos eventually, and then whatever else he did. This guy is an ex-police officer racing driver. So those are completely separate people. <laughs> Along with a fellow streamer. Yes. Hey. If you're listening, let's go. Now, he's also featured in a different trailer with the Nobeds logo behind him. Also, there's the logo right there. Black Panther's logo now canon in the Motorfest. As well as the Nobeds is now canon. So, Corey Johnston, you're canon in the game. Now, even though I've... Now, now that's where I sort of draw the line, however. See, I'd even, I'd even be hesitant to extend to Corey. Because none of those are explicitly confirmed. A lot of these things connected can be done pretty easily. But having them explicitly confirmed, not so much. I mean, I've got a picture of Black Panther public and shown. But that doesn't necessarily establish that I'm canon in the game. However, if Shut any up. argument for that was to be made, Theo does have a helmet in the background of his, uh, uh of the in-game trailer. And I also do have the, have a, have a, a, a helmet as well. So does Don Juan Song. We got given them. So, you know, there's a lot of technicalities in which I can be shoved in, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna assume them because there's no reason to. At the moment, this is the Black Panther lore. In fact, we spoke earlier about the cars that the Black Panther in this universe owns. So let's talk a bit more about that. So ex-police officer, ex, I mean, I guess there's no reason to assume he stopped professional racing. Black Panther in the game is contacted by Motorfest, the, 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 the festival series, right? It's like, it's like if, I guess, a mixture of, I, I guess a mixture of petrol headism and Ibiza messaged Black Panther and he went, fucking yeah, go on. And then he gets contacted by Motorfest and they fly him out to Oahu to be part of a racing month. And he's obviously happy for it. He obviously, he, one thing we also know he owns in this universe is a Nissan Z. Another car that Theo in real life does not own, but this one does. Now, there's definitely some issues here where, um, <clears throat> that is a white guy. That's a very white man. So I don't know what the crew was doing. <laughs>
And then we obviously have the Black Panther Wii, where the car list is confirmed. So Theo owns in this universe a Nissan Z, he's driven a Gallardo police car, but presumably that belongs to the state, a Porsche 911 GT3 RS, and then this car was kitted out for him by Motorfest. So he might not directly own this car, he definitely would be given it afterwards, it's, it's, it's deemed Black Panther's dream car, so it's not explicitly stated that he owns this car right here. But the other cars Theo owns are a Mini Cooper, a Mitsubishi Evo, now these are all cars he owns in real life, however, instead of a Stagia, he owns two Skylines, a grey one and a blue one as you can see up there. He owns a Panamera, as he does in real life, and a Mitsubishi Eclipse. However, this one, it seems all of them, given the plates, I mean, I guess they're American, because none of them have the UK plates, and UK plates are canon, because we've seen that uh, the upcoming Shmi Summit car has UK plates. And given Motorfest having fixed up this car for him, it's safe to assume Theo in this universe owns three Skylines. Which I guess if, yes, if he owned three Skylines instead of, instead of one, he probably would have done this to one of them. <laughs> the Mitsubishi as well doesn't seem like a, a fixer-upper. It seems to have come uh, pristine stock. And due to this car being the current weekly vanity bundle, it also confirms that Theo owns not just all these other cars, but also owns a older Mitsubishi. That Mitsubishi right there. He, oh God, also seems to own the Evo 6, right? Is that what it is? The Evo 6 Mitsubishi is also owned by Theo Thomas in this lore. And that is all of the hidden lore of Black Panther in the Crooniverse. Now, whether Theo is happy with how he's done stuff himself or he would prefer that he was an ex-cop and racing driver, who knows? What if the real-life Black Panther met the Crooniverse Black Panther. How many subs does the Crooniverse Black Panther have? Because it's confirmed that he makes YouTube videos on the live share platform. And it also means that Black Panther is canon within the same universe that Alex's brother was shot and he was framed for it. And that's pretty sick. Oh, that was a fun video to make. <laughs> Thank you to popular members, especially thank you to famous members, and an insane thank you to star members, Extreme Speed and Grim Pepper, and an insane, insane top of the top thank you to icon members, HK. That's going to be about it from me. Do subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I will see you boys in the next one. Leave a like and whatnot too. In a bit.